Hello everyone, this is Johnny Orange, and today I'm playing Three Felsmen on Vercingetorix. And I'm noticing a running theme when I play the Barbarians. I try out all the commanders, and then I go, which one's the best? And it's Fursy, <laughs> every fucking time. Apart from with the War Dogs, who I think is shit on everyone, so... When I tried out Aminius with the Felksmen, they were good at taking out ranged units. They were fucking amazing at that. They're also decent at routing people. But there's another unit that does the same thing, just quicker. Which is the uh, Barbarian Curve, so... It's kind of, you know, it's kind of pointless. And then I tried out Boudicca, and she did alright, but the problem was, you have this second ability called Ambush. It's fucking just dumb. <laughs> it's the dumbest shit. It's like, oh, I don't want to play a commander with two fucking abilities, okay? Oh, and by the way, this is something I love to do, is run up to pikemen, wait until they put down their pikes, then chuck the Scorched Earth on top of them. Right here, I'm not sure what the fuck happened. I thought he was going to annihilate that one Felksman unit. Hence why my other two were, two were running away. But he hit for nothing. I have no idea why. But it's good for me, so <laughs> let's keep going. And at this stage, my team was raging at me. Oh, he's going in, he's suiciding, he's fucking suiciding. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, mate? <laughs> I'm doing all right. You see, there's, there's this thing you can do, and that's run up to pikes, wait for them to put their pikes down, and don't engage them. Instead, just chuck score surf on top of them. That's not fucking suiciding, you dumb cunt. But let's get back to Boudicca for a second. She had a great charge. Her... Um, whatever you call it, her uh, buff was decent, but the wind-up time is ridiculous. Why the fuck does it have a wind-up time? It's not that great. It's not that fucking amazing. And you can't even wind it up in combat. So... And then you have Ambush, which does... It It should be called the opposite. How not to ambush people. You give yourself a fucking debuff to your speed. That's not going to help you ambush at all. It has quite the opposite effect. You can't ambush because you're so fucking slow. And then to top it off, you can't even use it on... The units you want to be ambushing with in the first place. So... Ugh. Boudicca looks alright at the higher tiers. At tier 9 when she has that 10% buff to her speed from Rebellion. But apart from that... Fuck, man, that chick. She needs to get her shit in order, alright? She doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. She's surrounding her own troops with fucking wagons. Sending... Thousands of people to die into pylums. Man, she's got to fucking learn a thing or two. Now you might be thinking, why is Versi so fucking great though? You think fucking he's so good? What did he do? What did he fucking do? Well, let me tell you. When you are playing the Felsman, they do very good damage, but they also die very quickly. And the good thing about Versingenerix is you can engage the enemy. Pop that defiance, and then your troops won't be dying. The front line will be losing health, but they won't actually die. So the enemy is hitting these units on one health, over and over, but they can't drop below that while defiance is activated. Meanwhile, you're hitting them hard back, and they are dying. And that's the advantage of First and Jatterix. It counters the weakness of the Felsman. I've got to be honest, in this battle, I would have used my Scorched Earth if I thought this guy wasn't going to help flank and recharge here. And when I noticed that he's not going to help, that's when I gang up on one unit to make it rouse. Get that unit out of the way. So that fight there could have been a lot cleaner. I, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I overestimated the amount of help I would get. I guess it's the easy way to put it. And I didn't feel like I needed Defiance at that stage. Looking back now, I probably should have used it. But then I didn't think I needed it. I was fighting a tier 4 commander with tier 4 units. With my tier 5 units and tier 5 commander. Also, we heavily outnumbered them. Now we have a bit of a break here. I don't get into combat for a while. So let's talk about Felksmen themselves. Once you get upgrades, they're quick. When you don't have upgrades like I didn't have... Previously, when I was talking about Falksmen, they, they're fucking horrid. They're the, the shittest unit. But once you have those speed upgrades, 
they come into their own. They're kind of between cav and infantry, which is great for versus Jedrix because you need that speed to chase down units. On Arminius and Boudicca, you already have that speed. You don't really need more speed. The other good thing about versus Jedrix over the cav is that you get to use your Scorched Earth to do more damage because you have more troops using that ability. When it comes to fighting infantry one versus one, I find that the Felsmen usually lose. I don't have the weapon upgrade, so maybe that's why, but they usually lose. But when you play Versi, you have Defiance. And that counteracts you losing your troops so damn quickly. I actually had a game with Boudicca where I managed to hit these dog trainers before they could release their dogs. And I still fucking lost that combat situation. I was just like, how the fuck, they were hitting me for 180. And I was hitting them for like 110. And this was about my sixth game with Felsman as Boudicca. I just went, man, this ain't working. Now I, I sw swapped over to Versi. And it was a different story. I was like, this unit is the fucking greatest thing ever. I have a feeling that's just because Versi is a good commander. And you look at the other Barbarian commanders and they might be good at higher tiers, etc. But man, Versi's just fucking solid. Like, look at this shit. I can still chase down range units as Versi infantry. I don't need any more speed. I've got the speed, and I also have good combat potential in 1v1 situations. And then I have that score stir for anyone who's camping or any pike units, etc. I can just go, eat this shit! Chuck some fire in your fucking face, cunt! <laughs> That's why I say every time I use Scorched Earth. And another good thing about the Felsman is, even though you do have a weakness to Archer Fire, the Archers are pretty nerfed at the moment, and you can dodge their barrage, you can dodge everything. So while they can mess you up a bit, you can usually survive long enough to either kill them, or kill any infantry protecting them. And if they decide to shoot into combat, I always find it's better to disengage and chase the archers, like, hit whoever, score surf whoever is protecting them, and then run around and tr chase after those archers. And this is not what fucking happened in this game. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Okay, hold on a sec. In some ways, the game fucking up there was a, was a, uh, a blessing in disguise. Because I can explain this now. So I engage him, he's in Oath, but he is still Cavalry. And now with any other infantry unit, I would just melee him down. But one thing I didn't know about Felsman is they are kind of shit. <laughs> so I have to disengage and then re-engage them later on. So I'm re-engaging them here when their Oath is down so I can kill them more easily. And they are the sort of sacrifices, I guess, that you have to make when you play Felsman. You're not quite infantry, you're not quite cavalry. You're kind of in between, so... Uh, Scipio inf uh, Cav actually can't hurt you. Which is, which is surprising to me, because when I play Roman infantry or uh, Greek infantry, I don't give a fuck about no motherfucking Scipio. He can suck my dick. He can suck my dick all day. I don't give a fuck. And now that I've said that, I am going to try to play Scipio. He did receive a lot of nerfs. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and thumbs up and all that shit.